Hey guys, how's it going? So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing about why I bought Afria stock. I bought about $78,000 of Afria stock and I'll show you proof in a second. Uh, you know, the, this today's Tuesday and I was thinking of watching a movie. And I couldn't, you know, I saw this movie called Penguins. It's a Disney documentary on penguins. It had a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes, 69% on Metacritic. I thought I'd just check it out for fun. It's only an hour long movie, hour and 60 minutes. Um, let me hear your thoughts in the comments below if uh, you know, I should go watch Penguins. Uh, the moan, my only reason why I'm watching Penguins because there's really no movies in the theaters that I want to watch. Uh, everything, everything kind of shitty. Uh, there's the Avengers, but they're coming out on the 25th of April. Today's the 23rd, so I, I'm not too sure what uh, what movie to watch. If you have some recommendations, please uh, comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So yes, that's right. Today I bought Afria stock, and here's proof. I bought 7,500 shares of Afria at $10.48. Uh, at the, uh, you know, this is what the price is at right now. I bought it at $10.48 and I'm up $332.48, 0.42%. So, uh, if it went up a percent, I would be making six or seven bucks. If it went up 2%, you guys get the, you guys get the story of it, but uh, I'm going to be making some mad money if uh, if the stock goes up, but uh, because I bought quite a bit of shares. So, no, I'm looking at the chart, Afria is telling me that it may bottom out. I don't know if it will. I don't know if this is the, this might not be the bottom, but the charts are telling me that it may bottom out. It may keep going down, but I don't know for sure. That's that's the risk. I'm not a hundred percent sure. There's no nothing in the market is a hundred percent. Charts don't tell you that. Oh, it's a hundred percent going down. Oh, it's hundred percent going up. News and events can change the story. So Africa could come out with some bad news, or another short trader could come out and short the stock and be like. Afria is a bunch of bullshit, blah, 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 and the stock could drop even further from here. Who knows at the end of the day, but right now it's, I think it's like an oversold, not not quite oversold territories yet, but it I, it looks like it's kind of bottoming out. It, it, you know, it landed at 10.25, it recovered to 10.53, uh, I bought it around 10.48, so yeah, that's all I really have to say. Uh, I will be making a more dedicated video on the weekend on Afria uh, because, because like my my story was I bought twenty five thousand dollars of shares so I bought two thousand five hundred shares in the morning and then I decided to do some research and after a bunch of research I decided to take uh, another position a bigger position into Afria before the market closed. So around one o'clock, I bought some more shares, and now you know I'm up a little bit because of that. Um, yeah, and this is my main reason that Afria raised three hundred million U.S. dollars using convertible senior notes at a five point two five percent convertible senior note. That is, I think. The same amount of interest that Aurora got when they raised three hundred and fifty million dollars. Uh, they they raised it at a pretty decent price, at a price of uh nine dollars and thirty eight cents U.S. and Afria stock right now is seven dollars and eighty one. So that's like a two dollar premium on on what uh like almost two dollars, like a little less than two dollar premium on uh what. Afria current share prices right now, so a twenty percent premium uh, of a share price of seven dollars and eighty two cents to the, the it's trading at seven dollars and eighty one cents. So, you know that that's that's the main reason why. And then on top of that, like why did you think they raised three hundred million dollar U S. Why three hundred million dollar U S. You know, just it's kind of, you know, in my mind, it, you know. It, 
it has to do something without getting into the U.S. At least this is my, me speculating. 300 million U.S. If you look at Africa's balance sheet, they obviously have enough cash to continue to build out their facilities and their greenhouses and whatever they need to build out. But now they're getting 300 million U.S. dollars. On top of that, you know, they just got out of green growth brands. So that's another $89 million of Canadian cash. So, you know, that money has to go somewhere. So, you know, I'm thinking they're going to be making a big U.S. play like Canopy in the future. Possibly just speculating. It's just pure speculation at the end of the day. Africa could, could fall. Africa could keep falling. I, I don't know for sure. I've done my research. I think Africa is a good company. Well, it, it's an interesting company. It's definitely interesting company. Uh, I think it has potential. That's why I, I bought in. Uh, but at the end of the day, it could fall even further. And that, at the get, and I just want to disclose this. This is me buying. This is not financial advice. This is for pure entertainment purposes. So don't if you buy into Africa, expect. I'm buying into Africa, expecting the stock price to drop. I'm thinking long term. I'm thinking short term that the stock price could continue to drop. I would love for the price to drop further because I will be adding into my position. That's why I only bought seventy five thousand dollars. I went into the middle because I I plan to I actually plan to buy way more than seventy five thousand dollars into Africa. I plan to make Africa a big position. But I'm, I'm hoping for better prices. I don't know if the prices will go keep going down. I'm just going to gamble that it, you know, I'm, you know, that's why I only invested 75 or $78,000 instead of, you know, like 150 or 200000 Because I'm not sure this is the bottom. It might go down further. So I'm gambling that it will go down further, you know, but at the end of the day, I could be wrong and it could rally tomorrow. You know, I I don't mind buying it on the way up to, as long as I see a positive move, movement to the upside and not just a uh, you know a single day pop. So we'll see what what happens. But I'm I'm expecting, you know, a nice green rally in the summertime instead of an ugly rally. But you know, I could be wrong. We could have an ugly rally in the summertime, and not an alley. We could have a, a stock market crash in the summertime, but. I really don't think so. I don't think that's going to happen. But who knows at the end of the day. Aurora, after hours, uh, up a penny. Afria, uh, up, down a penny. So the market is not really moving too much. Kron, you no, know, kind of not moving anywhere. I have done a lot of research on Kron too. You know, like Kron, I would consider Kron, but I'm thinking, I think Afria is a lot cheaper than Kron. Afria doesn't have a partnership deal yet. Quran already does, so Afria is still still has the opportunity to come across a partnership in the future. So, no, that's the reason why Madman, Madman, like I you know, I could have bought it at a better price. I just I didn't expect the price to drop down to seven dollars, three dollars and seventy six cents. Uh, if I if I could read the future, I would definitely be like, oh, it's gonna drop further and it's gonna go to three sixty seventy six, and I would have bought it here instead of buying at three eighty one, which I did. You know, kind of lost out on that, but whatever, that's life. Uh, it, it, like Madman could continue to drop down. It looks solid right now, like it looks like it's forming a base, but that's just my opinion. I don't know for sure. I'm not a chart expert, and charts can't like being a, a chart expert. You can't really predict where price stock prices go. It's you could kind of uh, guess and you kind of calculate by you know the moving averages and all that other stuff, uh, you know resistance and all that. But at the end of the day, nobody truly can predict the stock market, in my opinion. Only the true eve today was also kind of just. Slowing down a little bit. Acreage Holdings again. Acreage Holdings, uh, slowing down today. Uh, I, the lower this thing goes, the better of an opportunity it is. I'm hoping this thing drops to like 1960. I'm right now. I am down on my position on Acreage Holdings, but that's okay. 
I'm thinking of Acreage Holdings long term, and I think it. If you compare to if you if you take into account of the deal of Acreage Holdings and Canopy Growth, I believe that Acreage Holdings is undervalued from the deal that Canopy gets. But at the end of the day, the deal between Canopy and Acreage Holdings might not even go through, or it might take years before that thing settles because of all the legal mumble jumbo there is regarding the Acreage Holding deal. So. But just from a perspective of that deal, it sounds like it's very good for acreage and acreage is undervalued just from that deal alone, in my opinion only though. Uh, and then, but Canopy could crash. I mean, this could be like nothing more than a fake rally. Canopy could still crash. I don't think it will, but it could. Anything's possible in the stock market. Uh, Harvest Harvest Y and Harvest Health uh, was nice and green today. I don't know if my video had anything to do with it. I didn't buy a single share today, but um, I still own quite a bit of shares, so it makes me happy. I am profitable on Harvest Health right now. I'm up like 20% on one position, so that's that's pretty nice. I bought it. Uh, I bought about 500 shares at around eleven dollars and ninety cents, I believe. So I'm up quite a bit on it. Uh, makes me a little happy. Kira, Kira plummeted today, but it's not surprising because it's already like blue sky breakout. So being pulling back is kind of expected in my opinion. Uh, GTI company that I don't know too much about, but uh, it uh, kind of just trading sideways right now, not really doing too much. All right, I don't know why I have this up. Netflix. Netflix really surprised me. Like, it's... I'm just... I'm shocked that it's still going up. I mean, they have a... They had wonderful earnings, but, you know, it's just... Still, like... It still kind of shocks me that it's moving up. Anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this content. Give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. Subscribe for future updates. And have a great day. Bye.